Now then, welcome back to another Saturday Sports Spectacular 2K15, the WWE My Universe Mode. Having a bit of a change around this episode, I said after the SummerSlam pay-per-view event that I was going to be changing things around a little bit. Well, I've uh, messed around with the customising My Universe and I've selected some new rosters and some new messing around to do. Uh, I'm going to go through a few rivalries and I'm going to go through a few matches from the calendar that I've set up. Uh, I've got rivalries and all sorts set up for the Raw matches, the NXT matches, the SmackDown matches and a new special feature just for Saturday Sports Spectacular of Saturday Night's main event. The My Universe mode will randomly select and sort out matches for me. I can have a little bit of say in changing those matches around as I want to. And uh, we've got some interesting stuff going on in Saturday night's main event. You might see down there on the bottom there, rivalries on Saturday Legends. There's Stone Cold versus CM Punk. So kind of a, a back-in-time affair with some of the other wrestlers that are available in the 2K15 game that we wouldn't normally be able to play if we were sticking to the normal universe mode. This episode, we've got a few matches to skip through and a few matches that we're going to play. I'm going to try and play... Let me show you this again on the calendar. I'm going to try and play one match from Raw, maybe one match from NXT, one match from SmackDown, and then maybe one or two matches from the Saturday night's main event. Uh, and then the pay-per-view events will be out tomorrow on the actual Sunday, so there'll be a second episode going out for the pay-per-view events where I'll play majority of the matches. So, without any further ado, let's have a look, see what the My Universe mode has in store for us today. First off, Dolph Ziggler goes one-on-one -on -one against Rusev with Lana and Summer Rae. I actually downloaded Lana as player-created content, so I'm not so sure how it's going to look, but she seems to have the right face for it. Let's have a look. Rusev and Summer, Way, Summer Rae win that matchup. No problemo. Next up, we've got a kind of a rivalry going on after the SummerSlam. There is Brie Bella, who is currently the Divas Champion in my universe, versus Tamina Snuka, who was in the fatal three-way matchup for the title at SummerSlam. And the winner is... Tamina Snuka, okay, beat the Bella Twins at their own game, awesome, but it wasn't a title match, the title match will be built up to for the pay-per-view event, no doubt. Uh, next up, the match that I want to play for this Raw is Nemson versus Titus O'Neil, with managers, our tag team partners, Ego and Darren Young. Now, I haven't been able to get together with Ego to play any matches, so that's why this is a one-on-one -on -one match with Ego as my manager. Uh, but Titus O'Neil and Darren Young, the primetime players, they fought a match just before SummerSlam that put them into the number one contender slot for our tag team titles. And of course, at Night of Champions, every championship will be fought for. So... The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. Accompanied by Amazing Eagle, Warlord, Mark, and Amazing Eagle, the Awesome Ones. The Look Awesome the Ones, Nemgo, are coming to the ring. Uh, now you can see that we're getting a bit of a boo. I changed it around a little bit, so now we are the heels once again. Uh, it's... It's just fitting, I think, for the Nemgo to be the heels of the universe. We can take on some of the good guy tag teams while we're the heels, and we can pull off some dirty tricks and play our normal ring tactics. So uh, everyone's booing us nicely now. Good, good. And approaching the ring, accompanied by Darren Young, representing the prime time players. From Live Oak, Florida, weighing 270 pounds, Titus O'Neil. And of course, our first faces of the Tag Team Championship are the primetime players, being cheered by all the crowds to uh, give us a good matchup. 
chairs versus booze. Let's see how it gets up. Okay then, let's do this. Takes him straight down, that's a nice quick manoeuvre, very good. I don't know how much the managers are actually get involved in this matchup, but I'm going to give my best shot against Titus and try and do something awesome. Yes, I got it. And can I get the... Can, can, yep, there it is. I got you. Oh, quick snap. Boom. Nice, well -placed kick to the ribs. <laughs> oh, punch it on the ropes. Very nice. Okay, and let's do some more grappling. Stunner. Oh, yes. And a little kick to the face. Come on. Oh, what a chin shot. <laughs> love it. <laughs> love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Can I, uh, can I get up before he gets up? I doubt it. No. He's going to get me off. Oh, man. Never mind. Could be worse. Ah, yes. Perfect timing on the reversal there. Oh. And taking me to the corner. Oops, smacking me. Get this reversal on. There we go. Oh. Slam you down, boy. Close line. Okay, let's, uh, let's get some groundwork doing. Next map. Kick to the knee. Big punch to the face. Oh, little punches. Little punches to the guts. Oh, yes. Signature move on and available. Let's do it. Smack him down. Oh, yes. Net breaker. He's all over them ropes. He's all over the ropes now. Let's get up. Can we get to a top rope action? I want to take it to a little bit more of a top top level now. Oh, what? Oh, yes. You can't see me. Let's do the charge finisher. I think I've actually got John Cena's moveset still. I think I want to change Nemson around as part of this new look at Saturday Sports Spectacular. I think I want to try and get it so that I've got my own movesets and try and get my own finishes in. But that was a decisive victory over Titus O'Neil, the strongman of the primetime players. We're going to be uh, taking this to the next level, no doubt. Uh, there's going to be some interesting matches coming up towards the Night of Champions where we'll be facing the primetime players in the Tag Team Championship. If we can hold it for that long. Okay, swiftly moving on then. We have match four on Raw. The Undertaker versus Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins being the current WWE Champion in my universe. But this is not a championship match. This is The Undertaker's return to the main events on Raw. Seth Rollins wins, proving he is a champion of champions currently. Awesome. Uh, the main event for today, the Brock Lesnar who beat The Undertaker at SummerSlam. Uh, going up against Randy Orton, who is in there with the number one contender. Maybe the number two contender for the world title. Brock Lesnar rips him a new one. Very good. Let's move on to NXT and see what we've got going on over there. So, over here on NXT, we've got some of the new wrestlers coming through our universe mode. I've picked out a few other player-created superstars to join in with the NXT. Uh, first off, I've brought Corey Graves back in from the announcer's side. And Justin Gable around and about, he's not been involved too much. But we're using up all the characters in the game as best as possible. And uh, Justin Gabriel wins this one. Awesome. Uh, next up, Adam Rose, who spent a lot of time on Raw recently, versus Connor. And this is a singles match for some reason. This is what the My Universe mode has set up for me. So let's see how this one goes down. Uh, Adam Rose wins. Very good. Awesome. And next up, more downloaded content. We've got Sin Cara and Kalisto versus Aiden, Aiden, Aiden and Simon Gok. Aiden English, that was it. Aiden English and Simon Gok. There's the Lucha Dragons versus the Vord Villains. And this looks like it's a pretty cool set of uh, skins or creations by character, uh, by players here. So I downloaded the two things. So we've got another couple of tag teams in the NXT tag team division. The uh, Sin Cara and Kalisto, the Lucha Dragons, win this matchup on this week's NXT. Next up, we've got one of the first main events. The current NXT champion in my universe, Finn Balor. Versus Bo Dallas. Now, 
It was a toss-up between this match and the next match, which one I wanted to play for this episode of Saturday Sports Spectacular. And I've decided not to play this one. This one, Finn Balor beat Bo Dallas into the ground NXT. Bo Dallas returning to NXT because, well, I had to sort the rosters out a bit. And uh, the, the rosters made sense bringing Bo Dallas back down to NXT. Uh, but it does give me an opportunity and the NXT to bring in some new champions that I would like to create in the future. And so that leaves us with only one match, the match that I will be playing today. Neville versus Kevin Owens. Uh, kind of a staple on Raw or SmackDown these days in the WWE Universe. But I've brought them back into NXT so we can have a little bit of a, a, a fun matchup with these two every now and again. Oh, good start by Kevin Owens. Okay. So, normally I would play Neville, I should think. I would normally join in as Neville. But, Kevin Owens is an interesting one. The downloadable Kevin Owens isn't very good with a moveset. So, I want to update him and upgrade him with the moveset. Uh, but for this matchup, I'm going to be playing as Kevin Owens because it's going to be a bit more of a challenge. Because Neville's got his own move set, his own things going on, and everything works pretty well for him. It's pretty good when it comes down to it. Uh, so, playing as Kevin Owens is going to make it more difficult for me until I get to the point where I've done uh, some work on his move set. What? Aha, okay. Let's do some striking, take him down a little bit. No! <laughs> See what I mean? This is going to be much more difficult for me to win against Adrian Neville when Kevin Owens has got a, such a terrible moveset at the minute and terrible stats. I might need to take Kevin Owens through a career mode and uh, hype him up a little bit, build him up a little bit and get him into NXT that way do the NXT matches through career mode while building up his stats and getting his moveset and stuff sorted out. But, oh man, I missed that. And up again. Nice job. Stomp him down a little bit. We'll, we'll get the better of him just because I'm such an awesome player of this game. Um, no. Ooh, super kick. Can I get out of the ring? Yes, I can. Awesome. Okay, a little cheer. Oh. No. Get back in the ring, you. And smack him. Not scared of doing something nasty with the Kevin Owens. I do like the look of the skin, the character and all that. It looks very good like Kevin Owens. Someone's done a good job of the, the whole KO and fight Owens fight. There's not much they can do about the face, but uh, downloading... Content is what it's all about in this. Just giving us some extra things to play with. It's pretty cool. He needs his own move set though, and I don't think many of Kevin Owens' moves are available. But I'll do what I can to do something awesome with it. As and when we get chance in the future. So we can have some awesome fights. We've obviously got a boo versus a cheer here as well. The crowd loves it. Kevin Owens doing some very standard moves, you see. Nothing that is his speciality as such. Oh, that was a clean kick to the face, that was. Oh, that's fine. Let's go. Let's take him up. We're going to take him down, though. We're doing, we're doing excellently well with this. Let's give him a quick pin. Just see if we can get him down with this little pin now. Nope, okay. Good. Oh, nice. I like that. I want to get some swantons and some dives and some corner moves and all those kind of things. Need to get all the Kevin Owen moves in the right place. That would be awesome. Yep, get in that corner there and let me... We've got kick, yeah, very nice. And this is where I do the rolling bum to the face maneuver that he does so well. Get some dirty moves in there for him as well, yeah. Get the charge finisher on the go. What is Kevin Owens' finisher currently? Let's have a look. It is just a straightforward DDT. Okay, well, we need to change those. We need to work on his moveset. That would be pretty awesome then to play a little bit more like the Kevin Owens style would be good. 
But at the minute, Neville hasn't stood a chance, and Neville's actually the better created character. Uh, and I've dominated, absolutely dominated. Yes, get back up on the top rope, and let's wait for him to get up. Come on then. Uh, I don't think I can jump that far. But yes, I did anyway. Let's give him a pin now. Let's see if we can get him over and keep him down. One, two, three. Yes. Easy enough. Kevin Owens wins by way of pinfall. So that was NXT for this week. Um, a lot of room for improvement, but a lot of scope for me to bring in new superstars and sort of level them up and get them used to play and get them into your visual range before they move around the rosters a little bit just like big daddy did earlier on in the season i'm going to bring up some new superstars and define some of these regulars that are going to be kicking around nxt for a while but let's move on to smackdown before we run out of any more time over on smackdown this week We've got The Miz reintroducing Tyson Kidd to the universe mode. Uh, Tyson Kidd has been out of action in the real WWE universe, but I brought him back because I'm trying to use all of the superstars that are available in the game. So this is a nice, easy opening match for Tyson Kidd versus The Miz. Tyson Kidd getting back into it, but The Miz showing him who is awesome. Uh, match two, following on from the SummerSlam, Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose versus the Wyatt family. Uh, Luke Harper versus Roman Reigns with Bray Wyatt hanging around on the sidelines again. Just going to be there causing some trouble, but Roman Reigns does the beatdown on Luke Harper. Now the match that I've picked out for today's Saturday Sports Spectacular. It is a tag team match. Now, this is unusual in itself. Uh, when I was looking at the rosters, I was seeing that Ryback and Big Daddy, both Intercontinental Champions in recent times. Big Daddy just losing the Intercontinental Championship to Ryback at SummerSlam in a fatal four-way. Big guys in the ring. Uh, now they're joined together to work as a tag team because they're both uh, the faces of that particular title. Versus The Big Show and Mark Henry, who are both getting a few boos. So, <laughs> we've got the big guys in the ring, showing a display of strength. No title on the line, but this is how it goes down. So, the world's tallest or biggest athlete and the world's strongest man versus the Intercontinental Champion and the former Intercontinental Champion. And I think Big Daddy sort of out... Uh, outdoes the Big Show a little bit in being the world's biggest athlete or whatever it is. I think we're, we're getting there. I think I made him big enough. I made him seven foot. He's built like built bigger and stronger than the Big Show. Let's see how it goes down though. We got Ryback coming into it as well, but uh, he's not calling for a tag yet. I'm doing fine. So take the Big Show down. He's hardly done me any damage yet. We can do this easy. Let's do a bit of a build up for the smackdown oi slap you slap you silly my man slap you silly check that out I'm not going to tag you just yet come on let's just do a few drops oh he's reversed it he's reversed it he's got the upper hand now uh, whoop. Ah, nope that didn't work come on then that's some of you Mark Henry I'll take you down now look at that the strongest man just got lifted by the big daddy doing the block <laughs> doing the block and hey, taking him apart today there's no stopping me now I think I need to set my difficulties higher because I'm too dang good that's what he said too dang good and back him down yes okay well they've hardly touched me at the minute and I've got everything big daddy come on then Get up, get up, do the thing. I'm going to lift him right up over my head. 400 pounds he is. 400 pounds. Okay, go on right back. It wouldn't be a tag team contest if I didn't let you have a go. Right. 
Off you go then. Come on, let's see what you can do. Am I? Am I? Oh, I'm controlling my tag team partner. Okay, let's. Oh, ho, 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 nice. See what we get. Can I get these uh, signatures up and all that kind of stuff? Oop. Yes. Okay, and smack him about a bit. That's it. <laughs> I'm not even trying to pin him, am I, at the minute? So, so much going for it. Hey, and the tag. No, I didn't mean to get out. I meant tag. Not good. Uh, whoa! No, reversed it. Perfect reversal. Very good. Awesome. Now, what can he do? What can Ryback do? He can slam his head against the ground. Okay. Is that all we got? We've got to get it before his comeback kicks in. I don't want his comeback kicking in. Let's slow him down a bit. Ooh, man, that's got to hurt. Oh, look at the emotion. Oh, yeah. Feed me more. His comeback's about to go down. Push him over. And give him a quick pin, maybe. Come on, Ryback. Show him what's going on. We're not really doing much tag team here, are we? Yeah, there we go. Okay. You. Uh, get out. You stay out of it. It's not your fight. No. That was a distraction. Mark, are we going to get counted out or what? Come on. Yes, count him out. Let's get oh, disqualification man, by keeping Mark Henry in. Oh, he stepped in. Stepping up. Oh, not again. Oh, you get. Okay. Oh, I missed the reversal. Oh, no, I didn't miss the reversal. I thought I clearly missed the reversal then. So I've got a reversal in, I mean. Yeah. And reversed. And let's see what his corner moves are all about. Throw him into there. And squash. Yes. And now uh, do a little tag action. Get you back in. Come on then, big daddy. Let's finish this guy. Stomp him. Mud hole. Stomp him in the corner there. And we can do a little jump down. And that's also knock Mark Henry down out the ring. So let's see if we can pin him. Come on. One, two, three. Oh, come on, referee. Why was that so hard for you, eh? This is not going to work out. This is not going to work out. Big guys do not fly very well. That is for sure. Okay, so we've got Mark Henry coming in now. That's all right. It's fine. Oh, he did a big belly flop. Okay, taking you down. He's reversing. Man. Okay, I've got finishers and all sorts ready for me. Oh, I hate it. Get out of here. That's the only mechanic I hate in this game. I don't mind any of the other mechanics so much. Oh, flip him out, man. Flip him out. Let's just uh, get another finisher. Ha ha ha, Oi, oi, get in here. Right, come on, I want it. And down he goes, awesome. Can I do an oh my god moment? OMG moment, please. OMG moment. I just do the signature move. And... Holy smash! Give him a pin. I know we're going to get it broken up, but... Yeah, Big Joe's just going to get in there and take it out. But let's give him something. Let's do something on him. Here we go. Yes. And a finisher on you. Oh, look at this. Taking them both down in the match. Gotta love it. Power pin. Big Show's not even getting up yet. Two. Three. Yes. <laughs> Taking him down. Gotta love it. Big Daddy winning. Even though Big Daddy is no longer the Intercontinental Champion, he is going to hang around with Ryback or at least hang around behind the scenes until somebody the crowd dislike get hold of the championship and he can take it back that way. Uh, good guy versus good guy matches don't go down well in the WWE Universe. If there's an opportunity to face Ryback, Big Daddy will of course smack him about and take the championship. But that's for another day, another smackdown. Uh, set next up on the SmackDown, we've got Dean Ambrose versus Eric Rohan with Bray Wyatt hanging around on the sidelines again as the manager. More of the family war. Dean Ambrose winning this one. The Wyatt family have sucked. 
this week on SmackDown. Uh, and finally, the main event, Cesaro, currently the number one contender for the world title, building up towards fighting Seth Rollins for it at some point somewhere in the future, is taking on Sheamus, who fancies himself. He's Mr. Money in the Bank, fancies himself as a bit of a contender himself. And Cesaro proves he is the number one contender for a reason. Okay, so this is a big part of the new format for my universe. Trying to use up some of the superstars that have been in the game, but underused in the series so far. Batista wins. It actually is the Batista from 03 rather than the latest version of Batista. He's gone back in time. Uh, just, just like this one, this is another random one that the My Universe mode has selected for me. The Great Kali um, and Christian of Christian and Edge versus JBL and General Adan. I I don't know, but the great Kelly was a legendary wrestler, one of those giants of a man, and he puts down the opponent very, very quickly, it seems. Uh, next up, I downloaded Bret Hart from Player Created Custom uh, Area, and uh, the computer has set it up for Goldust versus Bret Hart. Bret Hart winning, even though he's probably not really got a very good moveset. I don't know, I haven't looked into his moveset exactly yet. I'll get around to all those custom characters later on. Uh, in, well, almost a main event, Rey Mysterio versus Sting. Uh, I'm pretty sure this matchup probably did happen at some time in the past. Uh, well, let's see. Yeah, Rey Mysterio beats Sting on Saturday night's main event. And now the rivalry matches. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting. These are the kind of matches that I want to play. Uh, these are the rivalries that I will set in motion and we'll see how they go. Uh, sometimes it will be stuff that me and Ego do together. Other times, like this one, it's just going to be me on my own. Well, as I use the theme tune as Nemson for Stone Cold Steve Austin, I am going to be the Stone Cold Steve Austin in this matchup and see if I can beat CM Punk with Stone Cold. It's an Extreme Rules match as well. Uh, I think the first pay-per-view event that you're looking forward to tomorrow on the WWE 2K15 series is going to be an Extreme Rules version of uh, the main event. So we're going to have uh, the Legends of Wrestling and NXT superstars combining to bring their own pay-per-view event outside of the normal WWE Universe stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm probably going to get a chance to use Stone Cold and Sting and Hulk Hogan and some of the real classic wrestlers that are in the game that if I was following the WWE Universe itself, I would never get a chance to play and we would be going around in circles with a load of the same characters fighting the same superstars all the time. At least this way we can throw in some of these uh, older legends in order to bring in some new things to play around with in the My Universe mode instead of being stuck with the same things over and over again. It's like all these moves that I'm doing, I seem to be doing the same moves over and over again. Maybe I should do something different. Go on, go. I want to do a Stone Cold Stunner on your face. Go on. Oh no! Stone Cold versus CM Punk seems to be going all Stone Cold's way right now. Seems to be going just the way I expected it, really. I uh, I haven't lost a match this uh, Saturday Sports Spectacular, have I? It's because I'm not against Ego. Oh yeah, Extreme Rules. He's getting something out. Come on then, bring that table in. Bring a chair in. That'll do. Yes. I'm bringing in. I want to get that chair. Extreme rules for a reason. I may as well use it. No disqualification. Here we go. Smack. Down he goes. Boom. Yes. And can I do a charge finisher with this? Stone Cold Stunner. Oh, yes. Beauty. He's on a comeback, apparently. Let's pin him while he's in a comeback. <laughs> Hit him with the chair. Knock him out with a Stone Cold Stunner and Steve Austin show CM Punk who's who, what's what. 
and this is what Saturday night's main event is all about. Pitting the best in the world versus the legends and Hall of Famers in the WWE 2K15 game. This was a rivalry match as well, so there should be a bit of storyline going on as well. Oh, look. A great show of respect here. Show of respect to start off with. Okay, well, uh, that's it for this episode, folks. Thank you very, very much for watching another episode of WWE 2K15. Tune in tomorrow for the first of the main events, pay-per-view events, where I get to play around with all of the champions, all of the superstars and divas in the game to make my own personal pay-per-view event. And, uh, yeah, well, tune in tomorrow and see how that goes. I don't know myself yet because I haven't played the matches. But I'll see you there in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching.